Angie in real life. Live, live. Angie in real life with one L. Live, live. I am your hope dealer and your purpose pusher. Hey guys. Guess who's back home? Your girl is back home. Today is Sunday. And look. I didn't go to church today because I didn't feel like it. But y'all, it's that time of the month. And I just don't feel like it. So, coffee. I have my heating pad. I'm going to heat up. I'm making chicken and dumplings for dinner and fried cabbage. My chicken is, I'm throwing in the sink now. I'm going to cut my cabbage up. But as of right now, I'm going to take a little moment. Got some clothes in the washer. I love the idea of Reset Sunday. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to reset today. And we're going to sit. And we're going to plan out what we're going to do for the week. I've attempted this so many times, but I, and I, I'll be so good at it for a couple of days and then I'll quit. <laughs> but after woman evolved, now this is my mom outfit. <laughs> this is one of my mom's outfit, y'all. It's nice to wear out and it's nice, nice to lounge in too, so. Freshly showered and we're lounging. So, um, yeah, reset Sunday. I saw a hairstyle I want to try for. Well, I did it before, but I want to retry it on my hair. A lot bun. I started playing around with it, but then I was like, you know what? Let me show my subscribe. Let me let me show the fan fan, right? So yeah, we're gonna reset. We're gonna plan for the week. Um, my goal is to plan my food out, plan my fasting. One thing that I took away from, I learned a lot at this weekend. And what I learned is there's a lot of things that God has been trying to show me. But you know how we just hold on to a thing because we just feel like that's the norm. And that's what it should be, you know? And that's kind of like where I've been. But I realized that what's to come is better than what's been. And the enemy trying to pick at us about small things to throw us off our game. But guess what? I see you. I'm woke. I ain't gonna let it happen. And we moving forward. So, this that Sunday. Ow! Get yourself together. Get your coffee. And it's not morning, y'all. It's about probably 2.30 to o'clock. But anyway, I'll see you guys later on. Probably in the kitchen. Because I'm going to sit here and turn my music on and do a little writing. So, thank you.
I'm gonna leave the cover off because I want it fried, not steamed. Mm. That is good. That's delicious. Actually. <clears throat> if you like your cabbage a little firm, this would be the way to go. I really need another onion. Mmm. That's gonna be good. So we're gonna let it fry a little bit. Because the green leaves are a little bit tender, I'm gonna let it fry some more. I'm gonna cover it. About five more minutes, because I need more steam. I need more steam, so on to the chicken and dumplings. What I have here are some chicken tenders that I am going to dice up. And we're gonna we're gonna do a switcheroo here. We're gonna switch. 
switch this on this eye. That's what I'm going to do. My cabbage is cooking. And I have my pan here for my dumplings. Mm. Mm. That is going to be good. So. getting clean and I wanted to use this one because I can add more liquid to it. Woo! She hot because the eye is hot. So we have our chicken breast that with the chicken tenders that I guess I should have diced before I season them. But that's okay. I'll season them in the pot because Usually when you got the seasoning, the chicken and dumplings, you got the skin, you got the bones. And we don't have that this time. So what I'm going to do is olive oil is a very is a healthier oil. I'm going to get some more. So I'm going to drizzle the bottom of the pan. Just to see if I can do it. Because my auntie used to hand roll them, which was my, my great auntie, which was my grandma's sister. So maybe I'll get with one of my cousins and let her show us how to roll them to make them fresh. flavor the season the broth for the dumpling. Mustard tenderizes the chicken and adds flavor. Not at all. 
Ooh, that was too much garlic. That was too much garlic. 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 That's too much garlic. Garlic. them a little bit to get some of that steam out of there. a little different color than the traditional yellow dumplings because I'm using this juice. I'm going to keep all this flavor. Turn this up because I got my kettle in with boiling water. Shadow is making it dark for y'all. I'm gonna spread this up a little bit. So, as soon as this stops, I'm gonna add a tablespoon to this teaspoon. This is hard because it's been in my refrigerator. But I'm going to add four tablespoons. I'm going to actually add it until I get the flavor that I want. That's what I'm going to do. So this water actually, this is like three bottles of water, I think. 
thing child I didn't want to bring the temperature down <laughs> Lord do it for me oh. get a uh, boiler and we'll add in the broth and the I got my broth just about to the taste that I wanted. Whoa. Some of the seasons that I added, I added some of this and some Mike Lowry's and a little bit of accent, garlic powder, onion powder, all that fun stuff. So now that we're rumbling, I have hot water. But I keep in this kettle because if it gets to the point where um, it's running over or whatever, or the dumplings is absorbing all of the good juices, I'm gonna stand on this side so y'all can have some good light. So this is what I'm adding. Annie's dumplings. And you just prepare it according to the package directions. All that fun loving stuff. And then right here, you just drop them in a little bit at a time. Scripture of the day is check it out. Psalms 117. Love and gratitude. Boom. It's a barcode right there. Mm. We'll look into that when we finish. But I, um, I am dumplings always has scriptures on the here another one. Psalms right here. Many are the afflictions of the righteousness, my God, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Baby, look, look, and please look. Baby, check out that chicken rumbling. Okay, let me quit. So, you add about five dumplings. Try to keep them frozen until you need them.
yes baby i got my bowl still going on so i'm gonna add some more because i got plenty of room they're they are gonna swell up but i'm still gonna add chicken right back to it. Rinse that thing around a little bit. Get all that goody out of it. Did I mention this was my mom's bowl? I think you guys know. If not to the new people, that's my mom's bowl. Y'all think I can get away with some more dumplings in here? I think I can. I think I can. I think a pretty big pie. It's very deep. It's very, let's bring it back to a bowl and then we'll add. They don't have that yellow look because of the seasoning that I used. And they will thicken up. I want to taste this broth to see if they where I want them to be. The flavor, I mean. Cook good, make you start singing. That's it. 
That is it. Yeah. Let's make sure we don't gotta stick it to the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is leave it alone and let it do its thing for about five minutes. And then I'm gonna come back and check it. And okay, I'll y'all. We're coming to the end. I put the cabbage in a serving dish so once we eat, we can put it in the refrigerator. It's very good, by the way. And then the dumplings, woo! They dumplings. So I turned them up because I wanted to bring them to a rapid boil because they're almost done. And then because this pot holds heat, this pot actually holds a lot of heat. So I'm gonna turn it off, boom. And then I'm gonna cover it and let it sit. That's it. And we'll be back with the dog. It is officially official. The dumplings are done. Baby, when I tell you, the dumplings are dumpling in. Dumpling in. Look at that chunk of chicken. Oh, the flavor is right. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Baby. Again, I told you guys that they weren't going to be like a yellow looking color because of the. Um, season that I use but if you want yellow dumplings you can always add flavoring but them things are delicious thank you guys for your time make some dumplings let me know oh my goodness y'all look at that y'all see that that dumpling I already taste them y'all but I don't want to keep eating because I want to eat dinner with my husband all right, y'all. So there y'all go. Mm. I'll put. Uh, oh, don't do this look so good. Oh my goodness. Let me get y'all the cabbage too. So we having chicken and dumplings and cabbage. You got your meat, you got your starch, and you got your vegetables. Check out that cabbage, though. You just, ooh. Boom, and it's no meat in here. No meat at all. But I used, um, let me show you what I used to season my cabbage. I was out of bacon, didn't have any ham or anything like that. So I used this to season my cabbage. I used one packet, one small head of lettuce. I mean, one small head of cabbage. And there you have it. Sunday dinner with the Smiths. I'll plate it and take a picture of my thumbnail. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? Welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all of those that have been helping me. Have been, oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that